Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, we'll be talking about creating the Pleasantville effect, or also known as the Sin City effect. And essentially what this does, it allows you to isolate one color in your scene and desaturate or make everything else black and white. So in our example here, uh, all the dresses here are red and everything else is black and white because I isolated the color of their dresses. So I'll be showing you how to do this effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so here is our original footage, and yes, I probably caught you off guard. Their dresses are actually blue. So you also learn how to change the color of an object using this method. So here's the base plate, and really the only thing I really want to do right now is kind of expose this footage properly. So I'll just, you know, increase the gain a little bit, you know, bring up the gamma, and maybe bring down the lift, create a little contrast. So now I'm happy with the exposure, so I'm going to go up to Nodes, Add Serial Node. And I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit and raise the saturation. Okay. And then I'm going to go up to nodes, add parallel node. And this is where we're going to start isolating the color. So there's the qualifier tool, make sure that's selected and go to selection range and make sure that this eyedropper tool is selected. And then all we're going to do is we're going to select the color of blue. And that's going to isolate blue as a color. But then what we want to do is click on the go to color range and use the eyedropper of the plus symbol and start selecting different shades of blue to make sure that we uh, get the entire spectrum of the color blue here. So just click around, you know, uh, do whatever you need to do on your own footage, but make sure that you have the color that you want to isolate. And if I hide this here and you see blue is isolated. All right, and then now we can make everything else black and white. So we click on our node two, and then we go to saturation and we'll bring that one down. So I didn't really need to saturate it before. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go to node four here and we'll bring the saturation up to 100. And you see the blue starting to come back, but then we just need to go to gain and really just punch that down. So we bring the blue back. And you wanna be careful because you can really overkill your effect here or you know, sometimes it might work out well for you. So there it is. Uh, and then what I want to do uh, under qualifier is go to the soft property and raise that up. Sometimes when doing this effect, you might get an object that you don't want to be in color, say like these flowers here. So all I have to do to remove that is go up to, well, select the parallel node here and then go up to nodes, add serial node, and then go to our mask window here and click on the circle mask or whatever shape that you need to do. Drag the handles in, put it on top of the flowers. Actually, I'll, I need to go to the first frame here, I'm sorry. And then just center that. And then the only thing I have to do is drop down the saturation and it's gone. And then I can go to my tracking window here and hit the play button or the forward button and it'll start tracking forward and it'll stay perfectly aligned with the footage. So let's say if I want to change the color of these dresses to red or whatever color I want, all I need to do is click on the node where the colors are isolated on and click on the gain here and just you know drag the wheel to wherever I want it to be. So you can make it red. And you know you still gotta be careful about how red you make this. And you know, this is something I don't know I will never really do. I would never actually change the color of an object, but this is just a cool technique to have. And you know that's how you can change the color of whatever you need it to be. And if you want if it, if you wanted the original image to be in color, all you do is go to the node where you desaturated the image and put it back to normal. And there you have it. We changed the color of the dresses and kept the image originally how we had it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And please leave a like if you can. It helps my channel a lot and I love making these tutorials. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.